Hey, what's up, 7th grade? Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. It's good to be back. Be good to see you guys today. I miss seeing you guys. Um, today we're going to start talking about something completely new. We're going to move away from algebra. We'll come back into algebra at the end of the year. I always like to do a bunch of algebra at the end of the year because it's just nice and clean and pretty easy to do. Uh, but we're going to go and talk about something different called probability. And probability is the chances of something happening or something not happening. And those chances of something happening is always in a number in between 0 and 1. 1 means it's always going to happen. 0 means it's impossible and it's never going to happen. I don't know if you guys did any probability last year, but um, it could also be shown in a fraction, okay? So um, your top number of your fraction is what you're talking about happening. And your bottom is all the things that can happen. Okay? So I'm going to start off with some pretty easy ones. And we'll see how we do, all right? So we'll say... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Say we have a bag of marbles. two black ones in the bag, and there's a red one, and there's a green one, and there's three blue ones. So probability is kind of like, what's the chances of picking one, right? So if I said, what is the probability, and we're just gonna use the letter P for probability, of picking red out of this bag? All right, you always write this in a fraction, okay? So what I wanna see, my top number is what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about red, right? So there's one red that goes on top. And then your bottom is all the things. How many things are in this bag? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the chances of picking red or the probability of picking red is one out of seven. All right, simple enough, right? Okay, so what if I said, what is the probability of picking blue? Well, if you just count the blues, there's three blues out of seven, right? Notice my denominator, it's not really changing, right? Because there's always seven marbles in the bag. If I said, what is, here's, let's get a little bit tricky. What's the probability of not picking black? So this means, what's the chances of getting one that is not black? Well, we count all the ones that aren't black. One, two, three, four, five. Well, this one is five out of seven are not black, right? And sometimes they're gonna ask you to find the probability of more than one. So maybe there's, maybe you get $100 if you pick the one that they want you to, right? So we'll say, what's the probability of picking, we'll say red or blue are the winners. You get a red one or a blue one, Get $100, right? What's the chances of that happening? Well, you close your eyes, you pick out of the bag. How many are red or blue? So I need to count both of those. One, two, three, four. There's four total that are red or blue, right? Out of seven. Okay? This is kind of how probabilities work. It's uh, chances of something happening, right? And it's not always a uh, marble bag. Sometimes you may do a number cube. Now, you guys call them dice, but in math, we call them a fair number cube. And they have numbers on them one through six, right? There's six sides. It's one, two, three, four, five, or six, right? Okay. So there are probabilities to rolling these things. So if I asked you, what's the probability of rolling a one? Well, there's one one on there, right? There's only one one out of six sides. And here's where people get tri tricked. What's the probability of two? Well, it's not two out of six. Only one side has a two on it. So the probability of a two is also one out of six. So what's the probability of a three? One out of six. Probability of a four? One out of six. So when they say a fair number cube, that means all the probabilities are the same. Now, 
it's not going to be that easy, of course. They may say, what's the probability of rolling a 6 or a 5? Well, that's two sides out of 6, right? Uh, not in lowest terms. We've got to put it in lowest terms, 1 out of 3. Okay, so they get a little trickier. What's the probability of rolling a number greater than 2? So how many numbers on this are greater than 2? Now, it doesn't say also 2. Just bigger than two, so three, four, five, and six. So that one, there's four out of six, right? And you're saying, no, oh, Mr. Habercorn, that's not in lowest terms either. You're right, I'm gonna divide them both by two, and I get two out of three, right? So this is just putting the fraction in simplest form or lowest terms. Okay, so that's how those work. Um, what if I said, what's the probability of rolling a seven? There's no 7 on there, so that probability is 0 out of 6, right? If I said, what's the probability of rolling a number? Remember we said these are always between 0 and 1? Well, 0 means it's impossible, right? 0 out of 6 is just 0. What's the probability of rolling a number? Well, they all have numbers on them, right? So 6 out of 6, which is, in lowest terms, is 1, right? 6 divided by 6 is 1. So it's always going to happen when you get one for an answer. Okay. We'll look at one more today. We'll get into some trickier ones another day. Let's talk about a spinner. I always have spinners on these things. I don't know why. So a spinner, like in a game. I don't know if you guys have ever where you like flick the arrow and it spins around. So this one, it's got four spaces, right? You got a blue, a green, and two reds. So if I said, what is the probability of spinning blue? How many blues are on there? One out of how many total? One out of four, right? If I said, what is the probability of spinning not green? How many of those are not green? Three out of four, right? And then finally, the probability of red. It's two out of four. Uh, not in lowest terms. What's two out of four in lowest terms? Divide them both by two, right? I get one half. Yeah, half of them are red, right? Two out of four is the same as a half, right? And half of those shapes are red, or spaces are red. And now we're not going to count the line, I'm ignoring the line. I'm not going to get that deep into it. You get the idea. All right. What if I said, what's the probability of spinning and getting purple? Well, I don't see any purples, so that'd be 0 out of 4, which is 0, right? What if I said, what's the probability of getting a color? And that would be 4 out of 4. And if we divide that, 4 divided by 4 is guessed it one okay so this is probabilities this is just basic probabilities getting the idea of it um, what's the chances of things happening and then we get into some probabilities that get a little tougher later on like what's the chances of winning the lottery and that's a really low probability it's almost zero not quite there but very close anyway we'll get more into that later but I um, just want to give you some idea of basic probability the chances of something happening remember your bottom number is always all of them right Okay, you guys have a good one. Glad to be back. Hope you guys had a good winter break, and we'll see you soon.